chip clips and cup holders. Like I said, this is probably gonna pop open like a jack-in-the-box once I start opening everything. There's a lot stuffed in this bag. Okay, this is it. This is everything that's in that little roller bag that fits underneath the seat in front of me on the plane. This will get me through a week. You've been on those flights. They're packed and the flight attendant comes up to you and says, I'm sorry, there is no more overhead bin space. You're going to have to put your carry-on into cargo. I did that the last trip and they lost my luggage. And so that was a painful lesson for me to make sure that the bag that fits under my seat is gonna be able to get me through for a few days. So in this video, I'm gonna show you my hacks and tricks to get me through a week with a bag that fits under my seat. The number one thing you're gonna to wanna to start off with is a bag. And this bag is important because it has to fit in the seat in front of me, underneath the seat in front of me, and this bag will do that. It's a tight squeeze, but it will do that. It also has casters, so I can roll it around in a lot of different directions. It has handles, and it also has a pop-up handle, so I can roll this around the airport. The reason why I don't wear a backpack is because I've had times where I've stood in line at customs for a very long time and with a backpack on I actually started to hurt my back. This allows me to roll this right down through customs with me and it's not going to hurt my back and I can actually layer stuff like my jackets and things on top of that. Which leads me to the second bag that I carry in this bag. I do have one other bag. And I pack this for a couple of reasons. If by chance they're like, look, you cannot bring this on board, we don't think it'll fit under our seats, I can pop this bag open, take out what I need, and I know this will fit under the seat. So this little bag here pops open. I can put my jackets and everything inside of here as well. I also like this bag because then I do want to use it with this. It has a place for your handle. So it'll slide on top of the handle of that bag and it'll allow me to put things like my jacket, my laptop, things that I really like, don't wanna check. I can actually put them in this bag and get on the plane. It also has another little pocket in the front. It also allows me to use this bag as a uh, day bag. So if I wanna go out shopping for the day or I want to go out to the beach or to the pool, I can use this little bag for that. Um, if I'm just going to take an overnight trip somewhere and I don't want to take this whole roller, this will allow me just to put a few things in here. And like I said, I'll carry this with me even shopping or sightseeing because I can put my umbrella in and I can put my purse in and I can put my coat or jacket or anything else in here and any little trinkets I happen to buy. Also, if I'm coming back on a trip and I have bought some trinkets and I've decided to check this bag, I can probably get some things in here or vice versa. If it's something delicate, I'll put things like that in here and throw all of my clothes and anything that's not breakable in this little bag and ship it off into cargo. And the beauty of that is usually a soft bag like this is one of the first bags to come down the baggage claim. The second item in this pocket is my dry bag. Yep, I pack a dry bag for a couple of reasons. Inside this dry bag is my bathing suit. I always pack a bathing suit and my little silk scarf that I can use as a cover-up for my swimsuit. This bag then can hold my swimsuit. So if my swimsuit gets wet and I have to go and fly somewhere, I can stick it in this bag, everything will stay dry, I don't have to worry about it leaking. I also use this bag to wash clothing in. Yeah, if I need to wash something, I can fill this bag up. I carry with me wilderness wash, which is safe in any environment. I can put a little bit of that wilderness wash in here, put in some underwear, bra, socks, swimsuits, shirts, and things like that, and then just wash it all up in here, rinse it out, then I just leave it hang dry. Or if I don't have time for it to dry, it'll stay right in here and I can seal this all up. It has a nice little seal and that way everything will stay dry. So I do pack a little dry bag and that again will hold my swimsuit and my scarf that's going to act as my swimsuit cover up. The next pocket I have is this little side pocket on the outside. 
Um, this will hold a few things. It's always nice to have that little extra pocket. So let's see what I have in here. I have a pair of folding glasses in here. This um, allows me to have something that I can keep by my bedside or if I'm traveling, it allows me to have something to wear. Um, I can wear them just like this and they stay on fine and I can read, it's great. Or I can pull up these little tabs like this and I have a great pair of reading glasses. Unfortunately, I'm at that age where I need to be able to read and without reading glasses, it is nearly impossible, really it is impossible to read anything. I also have a little pack here. This is my hiking wallet. It allows me to keep my ID in here and some money, things like that. It also has a little clip here. This little clip will clip onto the back of my hat and this little clip will clip onto my shirt or jacket. So if I'm in a windy situation and my hat feels like it's gonna blow away, I can clip it on with this. And then I also have these little attachers for glasses, sunglasses or whatever. I can put these on and I can feel like if I have it and I drop them down, I'm not going to lose them. Believe it or not, I have another pair of glasses in this. Uh, I know, I'm, I'm a freak about glasses, but if I can't read, I can't read. These are so thin. These actually are something I could, look how thin this is. I can put that in a little, uh, clutch or something when I'm going out at night, but these also unfold. They're super, super thin. I love these um, just because of that. They're super, super thin and they go into this little packet as well. This is my little set that I, I use to watch uh, my phone um, you know, videos and stuff. And this clips onto the headrest uh, or actually this tray table, and then your phone sits here. You can also use it for an iPad. It has an adjuster here to adjust it for your iPad. So this is something that I keep in uh, er easy reach because I'm gonna wanna watch something on the plane. This is basically all of my photography equipment. I don't carry a big camera, I just use my iPhone. I'm not a photographer, so I just have something that I can sh point and shoot. This carries my various mics. I have one up there that will fit in here. And um, I also have wireless mics. This little selfie light here, clip on selfie light. It has different modes in it for different levels. I guess. I also have this little light, which is a light that you put in a wine bottle. I know it sounds silly to bring this, but if I do want to have something where I'm going to have some light like on a table, if I'm eating or something like that, this will allow me to have that and it's just a little cute thing of string lights and it just makes it fun sometimes when I'm traveling to have these lights with me. So yeah, this is something that uh, I like to bring with me. I also like that when this cap is on, it won't turn on or off. It accidentally and wear it down and it's USB rechargeable. I just stick it into a USB port and it charges it up, no batteries required. All right, we got the outer pockets done. Let's take a look at what's in the inside. Be cautious, stand back, because this thing is gonna open up like a jack-in-the-box. Here we go. Yep, lots of stuff in here, lots of stuff. The number one thing, obviously, is my laptop. I also have this. Kind of like my kitchen in a bag. Um, miso soup and some uh, tea, um, folding silverware and stuff in here. Many times lately that I've been traveling, even if I'm staying at like a an extended stay or Spring Hill Suites or something and it has a kitchenette, they have no silverware, they have no napkins, they, they have nothing in there. Since COVID, they don't have anything in there. So I like to carry a few things and one of them is something like these fold up utensils. Um, these are backpacking utensils. You can get them on Amazon. Uh, these are by Navaris. Um, what I like about them is, like I said, they fold up and they become very compact. So that way, if I'm in a kitchen situation, I have um, a little bit of silverware. The other thing I like to bring is this little uh, napkin slash dishcloth. This has actually been cut in half. This is one of those pack towels but I actually cut it in half because I didn't need as much and I'm just trying to conserve space. This kitchen item number one is this um, Stasher's silicone bag. I love this because if I'm packing snacks or something, uh, I can put that in here and it seals really well. 
And the other reason why I use this is I can put hot water in this and make it into a water bottle and just wrap it up in this cloth and put it in to my pants or you know something like that if my back hurts i can also put ice in this thing and wrap it up and put it on you know if my back is bothering my knee is bothering me something like that i can put ice in this and this acts as a hot water bottle and a cold water bottle a snack holder and uh it has this little carabiner clip so if i'm out and about and i just want it to hang off of something i have that so this is something that's multi multi purpose and it comes with me on every single trip beef jerky I have my laundry set the other kitchen item thing that I bring along with me is chip clips I know it sounds really silly chip clips but uh, chip clips and cup holders yeah chip clips and cup holders right here I carry chip clips and cup holders because if you are traveling and you are going to have to do your laundry in that dry bag, I use these little holders. This is an Ikea, I believe, cup holder right here. You'll see it, it's just the Ikea cup holder. And I put them on the hanger like this and I can hang a tank top, wash and dry a tank top. But if I wanna have something else that is going to be like a pair of pants or something that I need to dry, this allows me to have something to dry my clothes with. So this, I can hang this on the shower rod or something and, and dry clothing with this set right here. So yeah, cup hooks and chip clips and folding hangers. Lifesavers when you're trying to travel light because you really do want to do some wash and get things cleaned up. These are a must have. I do have a little bit of OxyClean. So this is another kitchen item that I carry twist ties these will just help secure things up well, I also can use it as a zipper pull if I need to so I carry that in here as well these little bags are awesome these little bags have a little ziplock you'll see here it's a little zip oh this is going to be one of those bags that you can reuse over and over they're actually for vitamins and things like that but I carry my jewelry in them all kinds of things you'll see them throughout this video I use these little bags a lot. For security, I always bring a lock. So if I'm staying, whether it's a hotel room or an Airbnb, this little security lock makes me feel like I can sleep a lot safer. Um, you know, as a woman who travels alone a lot of the time, all I know is that when I'm sleeping at night, I need to know I'm secure. Now you do have to remember if you put this into your door at night and the fire alarm goes off, you can't get out of your room as well as into it. You have to undo it to get out. It's not hard to do. You just have to remember your door is not going to open in or out with this on there. So just as a precaution to let you know, this will not let anyone in, but it'll also not let you out. But it is a good security thing to have. And I have that with me all the time. This is an electric water heater. Uh, this allows me to heat up some hot water if I want a cup of tea or something and I'm in a, a hotel room that doesn't have a coffee maker or you know some sort of way to get hot water. This is something that I can get some hot water or once I was stuck at an airport overnight and I just wanted a hot cup of tea in the morning. This allowed me to plug in in one of the airport plugs and get some hot water when especially since COVID, nothing is open. There's a lot of things that are late at night, early in the morning are not open. This allows me to at least get my cup of tea um, and some hot soup that I carry um, on with me all the time. This is my Matador waterproof backpack. It's a 24 liter waterproof backpack. Uh, I take this with me all the time because if I'm gonna go sightseeing or hiking or day hiking, this bag is wonderful. It folds up, you can see it fits in my hand like this, but it opens up to 24 liters. And of course, I'm not gonna go like backpacking for a week in it, but if I'm going out to the beach, if I'm gonna go for even sightseeing or hiking, this is a great bag to have. Next thing I have is tennis shoes. Um, even though I wear my hiking boots on the plane, I like to have a pair of tennis shoes and an extra pair of socks here. These are by Native, and what I love about these shoes is that they're really stretchy and they're comfortable. They're great for just like day tripping. You know, you're gonna be walking around sightseeing. You're not gonna hike in these. That's where I wear those black hiking boots. 
But these are great for just day tripping. Um, you just wanna go out, do some sightseeing comfortably. These work great. Next is this purse. Yeah, I brought another purse. Well, I don't have room to carry a purse and to also carry packing cubes. So this purse is doubling as a packing cube. And what this has in it is a maxi skirt. And this maxi skirt right here acts as a dress because I can pull it up and have it as a dress. But it also is a skirt and it's something comfortable that if I get to my room or if I'm out you know, shopping or going out to dinner, I have something to wear. And the other thing it has in here is a pair of Skechers Go Walk pants. I can't say enough about these pants. Honestly, they're so comfortable. There's pockets in the back. There's pockets in the side. They are not the tapered legs, so I can wear them with my hiking boots. I can wear them with tennis shoes. I can wear them with flip-flops. These are my go-to pants. So if I want to go to the gym, I've got tennis shoes. I want to go out sightseeing, I can use them. If I want to lounge around my hotel room, these are comfortable go-to pants. These are Skechers Go Walk. And both of these things fit into my coach purse. This coach is a great purse because I can use it as a, a little over the shoulder bag. I can also use it as a, a cross body bag. It's big enough that I can put my phone, even a small water bottle. It has a nice big pocket here in the back for some things like maps. It has a small pocket here in the front for things like lip gloss or even a wallet if I want it zipped in here. And it's one of those that it's so flat. It's just, you can see here, very slim. And it's, if I'm going out to dinner at night or something, um, this is a great bag to have. But now instead of having a packing cube, I put that stuff right inside of this. Next thing I have is my toiletry bag. I know, it's another purse. But again, why just have a toiletry bag when I can use a purse as a toiletry bag that I can also use as a crossbody bag. This is a Bagalini crossbody bag and you are going to flip out when I tell you what is in this bag. Let's start, all right. In the very front pocket here, I have a pair of underwear. Yes, a pair of underwear. I can wash out my old ones, put these that I've worn on the plane and put these on. See how sheer these are? These wash and dry like a dream. I've had these for a number of years and I always take them with me and they're on Gossamer. They're, um, yeah, I think they're on Gossamer is the brand of them and that fits right in here in this little pocket so that I have a clean pair of undies in here. Okay, opening up next, I have a towel. Yes, as in a body towel, a full size body towel. You'll see right here. This allows me to dry off if I'm someplace like at a beach or something like that. Um, I actually have been at an Airbnb where they had no towels and I didn't bring any towels at that time. So I was like using toilet paper to like dry my face off. It was horrible. So now I carry a towel like this. This also acts as something if I'm going to the beach and I want to kind of lay out on the sand, I can use this. If I'm going to take a yoga class and I don't want the yoga mat touching my face or I want to cover up during the yoga class when I'm in Shavasana and I just want to keep a little warm, this towel works great. And it actually wraps up around my head so that I can actually dry my hair off. So this towel is in here as well. All right, this pocket here, oh my gosh. I have a portable bidet. Yes, this fits into a water bottle and then I can use it to freshen up the other areas. I can also use it to just rinse off my feet at the beach. You can put some water and rinse your feet off at the beach. It's a great little thing to have. And I have a bra. Um, I'm lucky I don't need a large underwire bra or anything so I do have a bra here that I bring with me I do have a little tiny this is another kitchen item this is another kitchen item it's a tiny little hair I guess what do you call it it's actually to cover up you use it to cover up food and stuff but it's so that I can put this over my head if I don't want to wash my hair I've got this little bag and that way I can get in the shower and not have to worry about whether I'm gonna get my hair all wet because I don't wash my hair every day. 
um, but this allows me to keep a really tiny little bag. This is actually, like I said, a food cover bag, but I use it, and again, in the little pouches here. That same cloth that I cut up for my utensils, I have a tiny little piece of it that I cut up even more to use as my body cloth. So this is, if I wanna wash my body, I have this right here so that I can go ahead and get myself clean. And if by chance it's still wet or whatever, I can stick it in a little plastic cloth. The next thing I have in here is my wilderness wash. So I can wash my body, I can wash my hair, I can wash my clothes. Everything gets washed with this. But my face bar is here and it's a bar that I can just use really quick. And I use that with this little bamboo reusable cotton pad right here. This little cotton pad, I carry my spray makeup remover in here. I spray makeup remover on my face and then I use this little pad to remove my makeup. And then if I wanna wash it more, I'll just use my little bar of soap and wash my face. I can rinse this pad out and this pad will be dry in a couple of hours. But if it isn't, it still fits in one of these little packets. I carry this teeny weeny toothpaste that I got off of an airplane once. So it's just enough to get me through a week. And I take my floss and I cut my floss up and wrap it up. There's seven days worth of floss in this tiny little bag right here. It's perfect just to get me through the week. I have a contact lens case that I use for my face lotion. Night lotion is blue, day lotion is white. And this will be enough to get me through probably at least a week in here. Of course, I have a folding toothbrush that I bring along with me. Yep, Vaseline Petroleum. I don't know if it's Vaseline or Target brand or whatever. Petroleum jelly because it just, it's good for so many things. It's just, to me, it's like a miracle drug. I love it. I also have um, just a folding hairbrush. This thing's like 30 years old, but it works and it has a little mirror on it if I need it. Um, it's not gonna style my hair like, you know, a, a brush. It's just to brush my hair, you know, like at night and in the morning. And half the time on a trip, I'm just putting my hair in like, you know, a ponytail. So I'm not that worried about it, but it's something that, you know, you need to have, you need to have a hairbrush. All right, next is this little bag of goodies. This has a nail clipper. It has my hair things. It has a safety pin and it has tweezers in it. So this carries all of those, again, in those little packs. These are great to have. I do carry this little mirror pack. This has a regular mirror and it has a, uh, what do you call it? magnifying mirror on it. So it has both, so it allows me to put my makeup on and everything like that. And then all of my makeup brushes are in here. These are all of my ones that I have for eyes and my face brush, that's in here. Next thing is in another pocket here is this little bag. This is my laundry bag. And it's just a tiny little bag that unfolds its cloth that I can hang on the doorknob and throw dirty clothes into it. Um, also, if I want to, again, go shopping or go down to the pool or something, this little bag is in there. What else do I have? And my makeup. Last but not least, I have makeup. I'm not a big makeup wearer. I, I don't wear good makeup or a lot of makeup, but I do have some. Um, I have a tiny little eye pencil right here. You'll see a little eye pencil. I have a mascara. I have my uh, Bare Minerals uh, foundation. It's also a sunscreen and a teeny weeny little brush to put that on, as well as this compact, which has all of my face stuff. It'll have my blushes and my eyeshadows and eyeliners right in here. And I also have my eyebrow pencil, which is great because it has the little brush on the end to either use on my mascara if I need to separate things out a little bit. 
also um, not only for my brows but if I want a little liner under my eyes at night this gives me a nice little smoky look is this little I think it's IT cosmetics um, brow um, power is what it's called and all of that my friends fit into this Bagalini crossbody bag I have my laptop stand which is something that so if I'm doing some sort of um, zoom call or something that brings my laptop up so I can see myself this is a little wristlet that I carry it's a nice leather wristlet that I can take out to dinner but it also is dual purpose like many things in here and it is holding my computer charger and cord so I can keep it safe and that way, when I'm in the hotel room, I probably can keep my computer out. I will be able to use this wristlet when I want to go out to dinner or something. I can put my phone, my card key in here, things like that. So this is something that will go with me and is also, again, dual purpose. My Joby tripod. This is uh, the tripod I use most of the time because I can set it up on a table if I need it higher. I can wrap it up around a tree if I'm hiking. My Joby tripod goes with me. My straightening iron, I can curl or straighten my hair with this. I usually wash my hair and just let it dry overnight and then I can straighten it or curl it with this if I need to. My bionic flip-flops because first thing I'm gonna do when I get in my hotel room is get comfortable or to my Airbnb, just get comfortable. And these flip-flops, I'm not even kidding you. I have walked five miles or more in these flip-flops and never had a problem. I have uh, these in a couple of colors and I, I just use them, but you know, the black is the standard. So this is everything that I have in this roller carry-on that will fit under my seat in an airplane. I do have some extra things to show you that I actually wear on my person that I take with me. I call them my everyday carry, but they are things that also are essential and I bring with me on the plane. My whole wardrobe is based upon what I'm actually wearing on the plane because, like I said, if they lose my luggage, I need to be able to mix and match and layer things to get me through the week. So let's go through what I actually have. And starting off is this scarf. This is a nice cotton scarf. It's a little bit sheer, so it's nice and light. It's something that I can use as a bathing suit cover-up, like something I can use as a little skirt, that type of thing. And also, if I'm going to a country where I need to cover my head, this will work for that. Next thing is my rain jacket. This is just a nice animal print. I love it. It's nice and light. It folds up really compact, but it's double layered. So I have this extra layer in here. It'll keep me fairly warm on a cool day. But if it's really cold, I have my Patagonia vest, which is this kind of nano puff vest uh, it's not down, so that way if it gets wet, it's not going to get all weird and it'll dry quickly. This is something that will act as something under my coat if it's really cold or if it's just a little chilly, I can just put it in over this top. The next layer is this white shirt. I always bring a white shirt with me, a college shirt. It can be used as a shirt or as a cover-up. This one's nice and thin, as you can see and it's a little bit stretchy and really comfortable. I can layer it on top of things. I can put it underneath things. I can tie it in a knot over the skirt. The next is this vest. This is a vest that has buttons, so it gives it a little bit of a, a nice, uh, clean cut look. I can use this vest as a vest. I can also use it as a little tank top. So I'm using it here on top of this t-shirt. It gives it a little bit of style. And again, I can wear this open or closed this is a great vest to have. It's a little sweater vest. It's not too thick and it allows me to have that extra layer to keep me warm on the plane. The last layer is this black and white striped t-shirt. It's thin, it's stretchy, it layers well, it washes well, it dries well. This comes with me on every trip and it's something, like I said, if I'm working out, I can even use it as a workout top or if I'm going out shopping just to have a little something on so that it's a little bit cooler and if it's something I need for something layering underneath to keep me warmer, this will do the trick. Now I know what you're thinking. That's a lot of stuff to wear on a plane, especially if it's warm weather, but there's a method to my madness. I can take all of this off on a plane and that's why I'm sitting here in the chair. I wanna show you it can be done. And I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it all up in this scarf. So I can just take this off, all of it, Take 
take my scarf and wrap it all up. And now I can use this as a pillow or something on the plane. So if I'm sitting up against a window, this would be great. I can actually put this up against the window and take a little nap with it. Um, if it's something where I'm, it's, there's people next to me, I can't really have you know something on either side. I can put this then down on the tray table and kind of just rest my head like this and sleep with this. So it acts as a pillow for me on the plane. And that is how I'm going to keep all of that with me and not roast on the plane. <laughs> I want to talk a little bit about these pants that I wear on every trip. They're by Prana. They're convertible hiking pants. They convert from a pair of pants to a pair of shorts. I like the way they're made. There's some nice stretch to them. They have nice snaps in the pockets to keep things secure. It even has an extra zipper pocket here on the side so I can put something on the side of my leg. So that's five total pockets. I like that the construction is all double seamed and I like that the zippers are all metal here. I also like that the convertible part of the pants has an extra lining there so that when you're sitting, the zipper doesn't hit you in the back of the legs. They're sandwiched between a little bit of the fabric so that makes them really comfortable. Okay, so there are a couple other things I want to go over with you that I carry with me pretty much all the time. I call this my everyday carry. This is my waist pack, and I can wear it around my waist or I can extend this and wear it as a sling over my body. Let's go through what I have in here. Now, I don't carry my wallet in this. Um, I carry my wallet on my person. I always have it right here. It's just a little wallet, and I like it like a men's size. It'll fit in my pocket. My Prana pants have a snap, so it keeps it safe. This little um, gaiter, neck gaiter, it's wool, it's reversible, it's something that I can use, and I've seen this, I've, actually I've shown you this in other videos, that this gaiter can be used as a neck gaiter, it can be used as a headband, it can be used as um, a hat. If I just give it a couple twists here and turn it inside out, and this will become a little hat if I need it to. This little neck gaiter is great. I can use it as a little hat. It's made of wool, it's by Eddie Bauer. I don't know if they still carry it. I've had this for quite a while, um, but it's one of those things that if I'm cold and I just need something warm around my neck, normally if I have something around my neck, I'm pretty warm. I carry my sunglasses, rope, really thin rope. I can use this as a shoelace if my shoelace breaks. Um, I've actually strung it across the line of my bathroom, so if I want to hang something to dry, this will work. I've also used it to tie knots to put into like zipper pulls. I've had these things fall off, and I've tied this on there to create a zipper pull for myself. Hand sanitizer in a little tiny spray bottle. I have a pen, a little thing of medicine. I have Benadryl, Advil, Aleve, Imodium and things like that that if I need it or someone else I love needs it I have that with me my cup so with this cooking utensil set I always like to carry a cup this is great I think this is from sea to summit and it's textured here so I get a good grip on it but also if I put hot liquid in this it's not going to burn my hands so I can mix my hot soup in here and have some hot soup or an instant coffee or something in here this is great it folds completely flat and I also can use it as a little snack thing. Like if I wanna put some snacks or something in here and sit and watch TV and eat, I can put some of that stuff in here. I have my Apple MagSafe charger. Another pair of glasses because, hey, without glasses I can't see. Another pair of folding glasses. Car charger that has USB-A and USB-C. Carriers so that if I want to take my coat off and hang it off of here, this little thing allows me to clip this part right here this clips onto the strap of my purse and then I can adjust this to put a coat or a sweater in here so if I don't want to wear it it goes into here another charger right here this is another USB A USB C that plugs into wall this is my minimum carry I always have with me I carry this little fan because I'm at that age yeah I've had it where those little things don't work, the little air things, and this will give me a little bit of air. I have an air sickness bag because um, I sometimes get car sick, 
but I also carry it because if there's something I need to throw away or if I was a piece of food that I've had that I wanted to bring home with me, these little plastic bags work great. I've also taken that little light that I showed you, the little sparkly like wine bottle light, and I've actually put it in here and made this into a little luminary bag. And then I could set it up on a table to give a little ambiance. It's only, you know, it's a little bag. It's multi-purpose, I take it and use it. Just think of different ways to use things. Little shout wipe here, and I keep it in this so that if I've used it, but it's not completely dirty, if I put it back in this little bag, it'll, it'll last me a couple of days. So I a little bit of floss and these little pickers. Cause there, the little pack here is a waste pack. It's by REI. You just slip your belt through it. Now I can put this on and pretty much slip this to the back of me. And no one even knows I have these things in here. My passport, power uh, bank, three prong power, cord my plug-in earphones because I run out of battery or something or you know i don't want them to fall out of my ears and i lose them i'll use a wired pod i don't wear much jewelry i'll wear something on the plane and then this is it this is what i carry for jewelry right here just these little things that's it i also carry my bee free water bottle this is great because when it's empty it folds up into like nothing right here but it has a filter on it so if I'm in a place where I'm not sure how good the water is, this filter will filter out, I think like 99% of bacteria and viruses and parasites that I would get. It's great because it goes well with this little Chico sling bag and this bag folds into itself and it becomes this little bag that I can put my water bottle right inside of this. So once I fill this up, it'll fit in here. And then if I go hiking, it's one of those things that um, like I said, it's a sling. It'll fit right over my shoulder here. I can carry it through the airport and have my water. It also has this little hole so I can put my sunglasses and stuff in here and a little pocket if I want to put keys, uh, a room card or a lip gloss or something like that in there. But these fold up into nothing and that way when I'm done hiking and if this is empty, boy, at the end of the day, I'm glad I don't have a big water bottle. I've got a lug back. So this is an important thing for me to have. I use this almost daily. So these things are with me on my person because this is something that um, I will drink and fill up at the airport and drink it on the plane. And folks, that is it. That is everything that I carry on the plane with me. It'll get me through a week or more of travel if they lose my luggage. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos, please hit the subscribe button. Until the next time, keep life simple while you fly. I'll see you guys in the next video.